This is Chris Ranvier, sales engineer for data protection. And in this video, I want to discuss how Rapid Recovery goes about doing mail restores, mail retrievals, attachment retrievals, uh, anything of that nature that a backup administrator would normally be uh, getting requests for. Uh, in this case, when you become a Rapid Recovery customer, Without any additional charge, you're provided additional applications that interact with Rapid Recovery. Those would be the local mount utility and the mailbox restore application. Two good applications to have without giving someone full credentials to actually interact with your entire backup infrastructure. This way, I can have a junior administrator, uh, a DBA, anyone that I feel needs uh, to interact with their data to either do QA, testing, uh, or any kind of junior level admin tasks uh, without actually being fully credentialed to log into the Rapid Recovery Console. If I can install these two applications on a local desktop, and I'll open up the local mount utility, uh, for example, this allows me to interact with the protected servers, and have that data locally mounted so I can then manipulate that data and work with it accordingly. I'm going to branch out my protected machines and in this case, let's look at Exchange. Okay, here's my Exchange box. I open up all of the save points here, branch it out, and now I can locally mount my data in the same aspect as the previous video. I can mount it read-only writable or read only with previous rights. In this case, I'm always going to mount my data writable. Okay, so I'm mounting this save point, my latest save point from an exchange server. It's now created a local volume on my local machine. And now with the mailbox restore, I can open this up. And when this application opens up, I'm just simply going to point to this database And here it is, point it to the EDBs and open it up. It's going to open up that database and as you see here, I am now presented with the mailboxes that revolve around that specific EDB. I can then see at the inbox of that user. I can see all the attachments of that user. Okay, if that particular individual needs something, I can take it, I can restore it. I can now restore it to a recovery folder that I've created, redirect it to a PST file, put it back to the original location, restore items to the PST, separate for each mailbox. A lot of different uh, flexibility here in how I want to go ahead and put that data back. Okay, But that's a simple file level restore from Rapid Recovery.